failure, get ready because you are received already. Let's listen to the first testimony. Praise the Lord. The mama standing by my side here is uh, Angelina Obogo. Obogo. She has been having pains on our lower legs for three months. In fact, she came into this program with the aid of a walking stick. But after the prayer of the man of God in these showers of blessing crusade, she received her healing, and she had dropped the walking stick. She could walk on her own now. So let's hear from her. Praise the Lord. Umuchimeke. Exoniru noga. Nakakampa, <laughs> Riba life of the na so so eba hambi no lumbu number nine or lumbu street njani the eba hambi ne so hanaga ya ne mem ya ne boom eme ya de ka yam water na akali akali nwe miki ko wali nwe miki ko lo yem ne ne oji we bidum nwe miki e ko wamu ye mani mi ye ni le jobam beze. Jesus on your support, also on your way when I hear Nile. Macaneco Subiraco was on Malani, my Jesus of Yaka. I went to where we go. Okay, yeah, Mary Naja Church, na deeper life, Odina, Olumbu. You may remember, she is here. I know. 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 I Nanem mire muna ya ihe bia. Aba mkpọrọ aha na aka. Aso hunya na ala. Gbọrọ ku ku mbi aru eba. Joba were wuri omi huku. Omi ya nyira anye. Obi were na agbọwo ze ekwe nsu. Ya buru ekwe nsu. Ya buru buru obu mbọwa ala. Na ha Jesus. Praise the Lord. The mama beside me here. Is testifying of what the Lord has done for her. She's been bound for about three months and uh, she couldn't walk. She says she was bowed so much that she staggers and she bends while she's walking. And the problem was so much that she cannot walk alone. She was using a stick, walking stick. But when she came here, the Lord lifted her up. 
and you can see she can walk now. Mama, stand up properly and demonstrate. You can go now. The camera will pick you. God, God bless you. Praise the Lord. You can see the poor woman, what the Lord has done. She was bent and bowed, but now she's standing erect, and God has taken the glory. Praise the Lord. Clap your hands for Jesus. Clap your hands for Jesus. The walking stick is now antiquity. She will not touch it again. Let's listen to the next person. Praise the Lord. The sister standing by my side is Elizabeth Sadiq. She has been having tremor since 2020. That is shaking. Her body will just be vibrating. So, but as she attended the Divine Solution Crusade, after the prayer of the man of God, she received her healing, and that shaking stop. Let's hear from her. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. By the grace of God, my name is Elizabeth Sadiq. I came from, my district is Rumehereze 1, in uh, Odani Group, Woji Old Group, Portacot, River State, Nigeria. I want to testify of the goodness of God in my life. I'm here to appreciate what God has done for me. It happened to me in the year 2000 that I first sick, I went to the clinic for treatment. The doctor gave me injection. After the injection, my body was tied together. The next day, reaching the afternoon, my the whole system of the body was shaking. It continued that they took me to another hospital where I stayed for one week. After I was discharged from the hospital, the shaking continued. But all series of tests I have done, I went to the scan. At last, the doctor that treated me told me that. I said, what type of sickness is it? What should I do? The doctor said, my sister, you cannot do anything. Just remove your mind from this problem. Live as if one day the Lord will visit you. And I thank God because by the grace of God and divine solution, the Lord visited me. If you see me, you will not know what I'm passing through. My sisters and my brothers have passed through it. But by the grace of God in this divine solution, my pastor said we are going to do usher. What came to my mind is that how will I usher in this condition? But I obey. And I stand there that day as an usher. From first day, second day, third day. As the man of God was praying that first day. I am believing strongly that God will do something from, for my life. By the grace of God, before the crusade runs out, I could not see it again. The sickness has disappeared. And I believe God. I just want to appreciate God. Daddy, God bless you. The Lord has used you to deliver me, to heal me. And I'm believing God here, if you are here. Whatever you are passing through, well, how long it is, what God cannot do, it cannot exist. And the Lord that did for me will do for you in Jesus' name. Amen. Clap your hands for Jesus. Can you see her? Is there anything shaking again? All that is shakeable, the power of God has shaken them up. 
The same thing in your life God is going to do. God has done already. Only come out and give your testimony. We switch over to other locations as well as social media before we continue. wonders happening on the social media what God cannot do does not exist what you see right now on your screens is the picture of a man who has suffered from stroke for many years he is Monsuru Okono he attended the crusade at our Bagada Yoruba church and the stroke that had been with him since 2013 disappeared after the prayer of the man of God. Praise the Lord. You can see him now. He is walking. He is walking. And there is joy everywhere. Next, we take you to Edo State, Bini City, Nigeria. Edo State, South South, Bini City. We go to Edo Live. Praise the Lord. Yes, today I thank God. My name is Johnson Obi. I'm of a uh, data state of uh, Nigeria. One day, I was going to farm. I go to the farm. As I was coming back, I said, make a visit uh, one of my friends. Get into the place. He was telling me gospel. He said, everything. He said, we have uh, a branch on our side, Abiko. I said, okay, this is so. And I, as I just come from farm, I will go together with my material to the crusade to know what is happening. So when I got there, they were preaching. That they was preaching the word of God. So I, I sat down, listening. So after much, I see, say, since we are moving head down, up, down, all the time. So I noticed this. I invite a pastor. The pastor, come on, come and see what is happening. He said, make a hold on, make a piano. So after some time, then I, tell, I, I went to him, I spoke to him. It's okay, I should come and tell the public how I'm seeing it. So I, I went there to give a testimony. So, as far as the thing continue like that, to the, the body pain, waist pain, start to release me. And ever before then, I have been buying drugs to make sure the pain go and it doesn't go. So, today, I am here, I'm born again, in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Sister Sukwa Mary, I'm born again. I'm from Gorosi Group, Benin City. I want to thank God for the, what the Lord did for me in the last days. I had five for a very long time. And after not too long, a month before the program, I noticed that I was having um, 
blood drop from my body. So after the program, on that very day, Pastor said we should place our hand on where we had the problem. I placed my hand on where I have my problem. After the program, everything vanished away. I pray the grace of God and find an okay. Praise the Lord! Children of God, praise the Lord! My name is Sister Blessing Imagwe, and standing beside me is my son, Prince Imagwe. So we are from Gorati Group of District, Benin City, Edo State, Nigeria. Praise the Lord! I want to appreciate God for what he did on behalf of my son. For more than five years now, he has been having inching in his eyes. And when the problem starts, he will start inching the eyes and water will start coming out from the eyes. So I've used so many drugs on him, eyes, drugs, and drugs, and the problem persisted. So during the signs and wonders to say, I told him that he should have faith. He should believe in God, that God will solve his problem. We went for the program, the first day of the program. When we got to the program, I told him, I said, when it's time for prayer, don't forget to place your hand on your eyes and believe God that God will heal you. So when pastor asked us to place our hand where we have challenges, he put his hand in his eye and pastor prayed. After the prayer team, now the pain has gone. So praise, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. When on the last day, man, all the pain vanished away. Praise the Lord. My name is Ruth Salim. By God's grace, I'm sick. Before the program started, I was so sick. Then, when I'm sick, and I thank God that the Lord has healed me. And before this program has started again, the day before yesterday, I, when I'm coming to, to the program, I told God that, God, this is my prayer request, and you have to do all this thing for me. And all my body was scratching me. After this, after this day, uh, the sickness has vanished. Then all my body was scratching me to the, to the, from the uh, front, front, from my head to toes. Everywhere was scratching me. So when I came, after the prayer of the man of God, I believe, vanished. Praise the Lord. The Lord. My name is Justina Mandela. I'm from Goroti Group, uh, Bini City, Edo uh, State. I want to thank God for what God did for me last month's crusade at uh, Abu Divine Solution. I want to thank God because God did very wonderful thing for me. Before the program, about two weeks before the program, I have pain on my right leg. The big toe was paining me. And it depends, uh, if I press the place, the pain will increase. But in it's the, it's the, the program, when our daddy said we should place our hand in where, uh, wherever we are challenged, and I place my uh, and I have I have other challenges, so I tell it to God, and I place one hand on my head, and I raise up the other hand. After the prayer, I believe that God has already healed me, and the place was still paining me. But after the program, by the grace of God, one of the days I just see that the pain, uh, the pain, has vanished away, and I press the place, press to know whether the pain is still there. There is no more pain. The pain is as uh, the Praise the Lord! And now we'll take you to Pakistan, where great wonders are also happening. And I have to tell you this, that as the flight of the showers landed in Pakistan, it visited Sister Nusrat, who had this problem in the eye, and the doctor said she had the spot in her eye, and she would have to go for surgery. But then, there is something that is still very special about our final image. 
upon the final amen after the prayer of the man of God, her eye completely got healed and she can now see everything clearly. Praise the Lord. Mercy, Arka, and invitee testify that before the final prayer for miracles and deliverance by the general superintendent, she suddenly remembered her past life and all the wrongs and sins she had committed. She said, she wrote, I felt a touch of cold on my body and started weeping. Before then, I came to the program with eye issues. I was unable to see well. I felt something was covering my eye and pain was unbearable. But after the prayer of the man of God, she wiped her tears and she became completely free. Her eyes are opened and can see bright and clear. Praise the Lord. And now we'll take you to India, where great wonders are also happening. Let's take you to India now. India. Praise the Lord. I'm Pastor Manish Amru, DLBC, Maharashtra, India. On August 3rd, 2021, when I was traveling in village for ministry purpose, I was not driving that time. I'm sitting in back as we are going to stop to the side of the road during this journey, or by slave on the road. As I was sitting in back, I fell down on my pelvic bone. There was no injury on that accident, but the uh, it hits near me to pelvic bone. For some reason, I could not go to hospital for treatment. There was pain for two to three weeks. On that same uh, month of August last week, we had a Divine Touch Global Crusade. On the last day of the crusade, while I was translating pastor live in Marathi, as the pastor told, you raise your one hand. I raised my one hand, placed my another hand on the, that spot, I, and prayed for myself with faith. My pain immediately stopped before the last amen. And now no longer pain I feel yet. So glory to God. We now return to the overseer. There are more testimonies on social media when we return. Back to you, sir. Clap your hands for Jesus. Blessed are your ears for what they hear and your eyes for what they see. We now take the next testimony. the Lord. The boy by my side is by name Favor Lossi. He has been having swelling of, uh, of his right scrutum, that is right epidemic ochitis. And his mother has been trying to treat locally, but the pain was so severe. But as he came for the showers of Blessed Crusade, Yesterday, as the Sabbath of God prayed and he laid his hand, the pain disappeared.